Okay, it looks like we're back here. Um, in case you didn't know, I've um, been recording some videos for A Plus, Network Plus, and Security Plus. Um, I've also um, posted some videos of um, DVD reviews, but this is the first PF Sense video that I've made in a long time. So, what I wanted to do is because I'm. I really need to get speed with all, all the new uh, features of PF Sense. So what I thought I'd do for this video is I download and install PF Sense, um, create a PF Sense network that simulates a real-world network, and finally configure this network. So I'm to get started here um, in the slideshow. So let's see. So I'm pretty excited here because uh, this PF Sense 2.7 has WireGuard, and so WireGuard implements a more efficient VPN than than OpenVPN. Um, but yes, it's been available for since July of 2021. Um, so I'm trying to see. Um, I need to create a um, virtual machine that allows us to implement PF Sense. So what I need here, and go to the, uh, the minimum hardware requirements are 64-bit compatible CPU, uh, one gigabyte or more RAM, uh, eight gigabytes or larger disk drive, uh, one or more compatible network interface cards, and finally, bootable USB driver, high capacity optical drive for initial installation. And so apparently, they they haven't included like a AES NI uh, CPU, which was a point of contention for a while. So I'm gonna go to the PF Sense website and download uh, this uh, PF Sense. 2.7.0 let's see so here let, oh let me see if they they have requirements here um let's see get started uh um Tutorials and documentation for various configuration scenarios. Um, well, uh, I think I should probably just just uh, download this and figure it out later on. Um, so let's do that. Uh, There's a version of 2.7. Oh, the architecture. Uh, you'll notice that they only have 64-bit. They they've dropped this 32-bit uh, support. Um, so I'm just going to choose uh, AMD 64. Um, I'm going to select the DVD image installer and press the download button. And so let's see. So here I'm going to download the PFSense. Uh, 2.7.0 release. Um, let's see. Th here's the uh, uh, SHA 256 checksum. So I probably should use this as the checksum. Ah, here. Uh, MD5 and SHA checksum utility. Download and install this feature.
So yeah, it looks like this is going to take a while, so I'm going to pause this video. Okay, it seems like the the uh, .NET was successfully downloaded and installed. also seems that um, PFSense was downloaded. So let me just go to uh, PFSense, show in folder, um, extract. So, let's see. So, yeah, the ISO is now extracted. So, I'm going to generate the hash for for this, and we'll see if it matches up with the hash. Um, that that uh, is on the website. Here we go. Okay, the SHA two fifty six checksum is seventy zero nine. Oh, the end is a uh, three five four B D. So it starts with seven and ends with D. So let's see this. Uh, Oh, for compressed D GZ file. My bad. So I had to go back to the GZ file and um Here we go. This is here it is. Um So it starts with 9 and ends with 0. Starts with 9, ends with 0. Um, you know, the rest should be the same nine eight a one four something something nine eight nine eight a one four seems to be okay um so yeah it looks like looks like the uh the integrity is guaranteed it's good practice to to use a checksum uh so we've done that so um so Right now, what we need to do is we need to set up a virtual machine for uh, PFSense. So I need to do this, do new, um, do a PFSense 2.7 demo. Um, I need to give a different machine folder because... Uh, this one is almost out of space, so I'm going to do V is going to be the machine folder. Um, the type is going to be BSD, and um, it has to be free BSD 64 bit. So I'm going to do next. Um, recommend memory size is uh, 1024. Um, I'm gonna give it more than that. Um, I think this is gonna be like because we want to like s simulate this on a real machine, so I'm gonna go to uh, two gigabytes. I I was gonna do four gigabytes, but really like we should try to uh, simulate the r real world operating conditions. So I'm gonna do like, two two gigabytes for memory. Um, create a virtual hard disk now. Recommended size of the hard disk is 16 gigabytes. I'm going to go with that. It says uh, eight, 8 gigabytes or larger hard drive. I'm going to do... Double that is going is probably going to be good. Um, so I'm going to do that. Um, please choose the type of file that you would like to use for the new virtual hard disk. You not to use, you need to use it with other virtualization software. You can leave the setting unchanged. Um, so I'm going to do v, VHD virtual hard disk. Um, and click on next. And for the, um, you're going to switch to fixed size. You're going to do next. So 
And I'm going to create the virtual hard drive here. Um, and it's going to take a while for this to work. So I'm going to pause the video here and wait for it to come back. Hey, the virtual hard drive is finished. So we can come back here. So I'm going to like look through some settings here. Um, this looks okay. PFSense 2.7 type is BSD. It's free. Um, base memory is a uh, two two gigabytes. Should be enough. Um, so the network is is kind of important. So for we need to allocate the we need to create the LAN and WAN network on this. So for the WAN network can be attached to uh, NAT, uh, NAT. NAT stands for Network Address Translation, so that, that's okay, because um, I think the other options are uh, Internal Network Bridged Adapter, which, uh, which is not going to work, so do that. But we, we need to have a LAN uh, network, so I'm going to um, go to uh, click on Adapter 2 as the tab, and click on Enable Network, network Adapter. We're going to use Nat Net Network, and so there's two options here. There's the Nat Network and Nat Network Two. So let's see. Uh, um, so we had to create a, a network for your for the LAN. So here we have Nat Network as a network CDR of. Uh, 10.0.2.0 WAC 24 and also supports DHCP. We don't want that because we want it we want the DCP DCP to be provided by PFSense. So I created another network called NAT network num number 2. Um, it doesn't support DHCP. So uh, and then the network uh, CIDR is 192.168.1.0 WAC24 um, so that sh that should be adequate and doesn't support DACP DACP will be provided by PFSense itself so we'll do that um, port forwarding yeah, not it's, we didn't do that either so we'll go into here and settings um We'll have, um, uh, we have a uh, NAT network, and we'll we'll have NAT NAT, NAT network two. Um. So anyway, yeah. That um. So we have the settings right. So now all we need to do is uh, is uh, install PFSense two point seven, and we'll do that in the next video.